Hey guys, Preston here. I'm gonna talk about long-term ownership of the InMotion V8, also known as a Solo Wheel Glide 3. I have had this wheel for almost exactly a year now, and I've put over 500 miles on this wheel. Um, I have very, very few complaints, almost to say none, um, on what InMotion built here. This is really a fun wheel. Now, I spend uh, the summers in Minneapolis, which has some of the largest and most extensive bike and most beautiful bike paths anywhere in the nation. Um, so I take this to the gym every morning and then I take it for maybe a 10 mile ride every day while I listen to an audiobook as part of my daily routine. Um, and this, this really assists me in doing that. Um, in the winters I spend a lot of time in Hawaii and I couldn't be without this wheel this year. So I shipped it out to Hawaii um, and every day I would take this from my place there down the steep hill to the beach, I would put it under the lifeguard stand, I would jump in, go for my swim, um, hop back on the wheel and ride home. I wouldn't have to worry about car keys, wallet, um, anything like that. This was just an unbelievably useful commuter down to the beach and into the ocean. Um, and let's just talk about a few little things. The handle's great, it's super easy to walk around. Um, if you're going shopping, if I'm gonna you know, pick up some fruit, it's easy. Um, handle collapses easy, the disconnect on the handle, you can hear that beep. Um, disconnects the wheel so it's really easy to pick up. It is not very heavy so it's easy to put in the back of a car. Um, the range the range on it is uh, about perfect. It'll do 30 miles which is it's a long ways. Um, typically you're not going to ride that far in a day. Certainly I don't. Um, range is right. Uh, acceleration's great. Braking's great. Pedal height is great. Um, InMotion's newest app really gives you a lot of data on what's happening on the wheel. This thing has had more spills than any wheel. This is why I leave this cover on it, which it actually comes with now. Because I crash this thing all the time, either stunting or going off-roading. There's a couple of good bruises over here. Um, I don't know what's what's on the other side here. Same thing, probably some nice bruises. Look at the, <laughs> uh, look at the pedals. Um, this thing is really robust. Uh, it has taken some tremendous falls. Just the other day, Chris and I, I were out riding and it went cartwheeling down a steep gravel uh, off-road path <laughs> and it was it's just fine it can take a beating I love that it ships with the cover now so if you don't want to get yours beat up um, or you're just learning that cover is super useful and it only takes a you know maybe a minute to put on or off so very easy to remove of all the wheels I've ridden which is a lot this is my go-to this is the wheel that I ride every single day I incorporate into my life if I hop in my truck and I'm going to go somewhere, this is in the back seat because I may not want to, you know, drive these little distances. I'm going to, I'm going to take my wheel. Um, so the InMotion v V8 Solo Wheel Glide 3. If you haven't had time on one or you're looking to upgrade uh, to a faster wheel from what you currently have, I highly recommend this one. Uh, really, really good product.